Hey guys, it's Erica. I don't like... Here's the thing. With... We're gonna be checking out Coogie's, um, Good Night featuring B.O. I'm excited for this collaboration and for this, that just, this is a whole thing. Anytime... I, I always thought B, I, I thought Kogi would always go to higher music and not AOMG, but I'm happy he's at AOMG. Um, I don't know why I felt that way, but anytime they were announcing new artists, I always kind of hoped it would have been Kogi that was going to be signed to either one of those labels, and he's at AOMG right now, and I'm so excited for this, especially. I, maybe I thought higher music, because he has done so many collaborations with Sick Kid, like they have a whole EP together. Maybe that's why I thought that, but I love this man so much. This right here is a signed Kogi poster from this mixtape thing, which is, I got a feeling, really, really cool. This is a million market. I think he did great stuff over there, but. I'm just so excited he's at AOMG. Like, I just, I, like, it just, it's so fitting. It's so perfect. It makes sense. And I've been kind of waiting for years for this to happen. Of course, he had to uh, leave um, Million Market and stuff for this to happen. But, like, I don't know. I feel like I was, I was waiting for this. And I was so happy when they announced that he was the new artist there, even though I am so behind. I hate myself for being so behind for this. Um, but it's making sense to me. It is making sense to me that he's there. Um, and I know he's touring in the US right now, which makes me so sad that I can't see AOMG live. But I've also missed out on higher music and BTS. So that's life though. But hopefully one day I can see this man live. He's also on my bucket list to see perform live, which I haven't, which makes me so sad. But I'm very excited to be checking this out. Subtitles will be on so I know what they're saying. So let's not waste any more of your time. You know what it let go. Shot really well already. I like the sound. Who did this beat? I knew it was great. I knew it was a great beat. That's a cool setup. Visually, it's stunning already. Yeah. Another sick gray beat. It's like a perfect, like, kooky type beat, too. Sounds weird because it's gray, but, like, it makes sense. This visually is stunning. Like, they did a good, good job with the reflection and hiding the cameraman for the most part. Look at how wide that shot is. That's super sick. The lyrics kind of very spooky. Yes, just yes. Bio. This is gorgeous. They have a warm light hitting them with the blue sky. At like, this, it kind of looks like sunrise. It looks so good. I 
I knew it was a great beat when it first hit, girl. I don't, I don't know. I knew it in my bones. I knew it in my bones. I know Gray very well as a producer. Oh. Wait, is there two? Is that J Park? I need to check out the B size. It didn't even say there's the two tracks. Okay, he giving us both sides of Kugi. That's interesting. They say Quazo. Queso, sir. Queso. Queso. So one can play. I've ever had a cookie song. Is that you said Queso? That was sick. That was sick. This whole one take setup. Beat him up. Yeah, they even say it was beat him up. Why would you not warn me? Director Hoban. Did they put PAs at the top? That's a dream of mine. <laughs> As a PA myself, production assistant. This is I did like you could drop two videos, but that was that was nice though. With this, I don't know who produced beat it up. I didn't I did I didn't hear the tagger was a painter. I was just so shook of that. I'm like, what, 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 what you don't even what? I saw it was like five minutes. I was just like, that's kinda long. I didn't even think about it when good night ended that they it, I didn't I did, you just you just can't throw in a whole new track and not warn me that it's a whole new track. Um but that was super sick and I liked how it is from like the same setups as uh, Good Night was, but it was like a one take sort of setup, and I liked it. The beat sounds very kooky. Just what I love about this is that like it feels like him, but elevated to like a bigger level. That I've just like I loved all of his stuff. I feel like it's always been really, really dope and really sick, and it's just really nice. But like this feels just like it's elevated. Kugi, which I absolutely love and great perfect for the track. I, I'm pretty sure he's been on a great track before whether it's one of those big remix versions or um, For some else I feel I know he's been on a great track before but works really nice and again It just feels like it's just an elevated version of Kugi, which is what I like I like to see that we like to see growth We like to see improvement like that and I feel like this is just what he's been needed and stuff Not again not that he's done bad stuff before or that it wasn't good But this just it's a whole other level when you got these producers that we got like we got over here on these labels you go make up some new stankiness some new stankiness no matter who they sign it always everyone's first release after they get signed to like AOMG it's always an elevated version of themselves which is super which I love I love maybe AOMG was right for Kugi um and I loved it and B.O. killed it there's no other person I want on the feature than him he just went in and it's like a great beat so I'm like I feel like anybody could kind of fit it but when B.O. went in he definitely made his he definitely said there's no one else besides me that's gonna feature on this track than me. And I really like that. That was really nice. Oh, he only did drop two tracks. That's interesting that you... I mean, he has a whole discography, which is really nice. Um, But, like, that wasn't... I thought it was J... It was him at the beginning then, because there's no feature on Beat Em Up. Um, but I really did like it. I like this. I, it feels very him, but again, just like elevated. I kind of wish there was more B-sides, like at least like an EP. Give me three, four, five more. Just not these two, which I guess does make sense of why they made, they put beat em up at the end of this. Is beat em up only, it's only two minutes and stuff. So it is, I was that the entire length of the song. Um, I don't know, um, but it was really, really dope. I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what else he does with AOMG and all this, because again, he's, he has great this he has a great discography so far that's really really dope that has dope beats that just him this just feels like an elevated version of Kugi, which i love and stuff so that was really nice that was i i enjoyed that i think the video was sick it was really nice production it sort of feels like a mix of like stuff you'd see uh ooh or ooh on jdu um with a little bit of a 
a different type of edge to it because I feel like Ooh stuff is very artistic. Um, but this doesn't feel like anything the other artists at AOMG have done before, so it's very interesting in that aspect. But it's it was a sick music video. It was well shot. It was quality stuff. It was gorgeous. I loved the way they color corrected everything. It was really, really nice. Everything about it was super duper dope. Video production was really nice. And they put PAs at the top of that, which if you don't know what I do for a living to try and make money, I'm a production assistant on film and television production. So the fact that it was at the top and that the names weren't included, I'm just like, thank you, Lord. Jesus, there's someone out there who sees the hard work we do and not all my blood, sweat, and tears. Um, but I loved it. I think it was really dope. I, I wish I would see them on the tour that AOMG be touring with. Um, makes me sad that I'm I couldn't see them. Um, but but there's there's always future opportunities, hopefully. Go to your thoughts in the comments down below. What you thought about Kugi's Good Night featuring BO? Also, who know who thought we were gonna get beat them up? Is there your thoughts comments down below if you like this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked me and want to see more of my videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see my videos the second they come out hit that notification button if you want to follow me on social media twitter instagram such as tiktok or the description down below or at the end screen share this video to your friends thank you guys so, so much for watching love you and i'll talk to you guys later bye <laughs> Session by the scene, I'm rocking new jays. I'm a fan. 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 I'm a fan